McCallum Brothers and the Hauraki Golf have a long and rich association. The family-run business has been working along the coast for more than 150 years. And for the past 80, they've extracted sand to produce concrete for some of Auckland's most critical projects. It's work we all need them to continue. Building infrastructure to support our growing towns and cities can't continue without secure sources of quality sand and aggregates. And with a new consent being sought to continue to extract sand from Pākari, they're sharing a bit about their history and lifting the lid on what they do. McCullum Brothers basically is a, is a shipping company. The majority of our work is done extracting sand from the Pākari region. The sand is used for concrete production and particularly at the moment in the infrastructural work. So uh, currently we're supplying the central rail link, the central interceptor. We've also been involved in the Waterview Tunnel. It's got our sand all through it. The Newmarket Viaduct, the Sky Tower, you know, the Harbour Bridge, all the port wharves. So it's been a major part of Auckland's infrastructural development over the centuries. Parkery sand has got some really good properties. It's very clean sand. It's a coarse sand, so the actual components of the sand coarseness, as, as well as mineralogy, allow it to be used for high compressive strength concrete. And so all of the uh, infrastructural projects now, whether it be a tunnel, whether it be a bridge, uh, require that they have a hundred year life at least. And so a number of the other sands, which would be an alternate to Parkery sand, aren't actually able to, to meet that requirement. Not only is Pākari sand critical in keeping Auckland's infrastructure projects going, but it is also used in the building and maintenance of resources we all enjoy. Plain fields have been replenished and beaches have been restored, enjoyed by hundreds of thousands of people every year. This sand helps contribute to Auckland's growing appeal as a livable city with beautiful resources to share. The Callum brothers are committed to minimising the effects of sand extraction at Pākari, and this has seen them invest heavily in their new vessel, the William Fraser. So we built this vessel in 2019. She's got state-of-the-art Dutch dredging gear, and the Dutch are probably the foremost people in the world in, in terms of dredging. So it goes from the actual drag head, which goes along the bottom, is, is low impact. So we're only taking out something like a, a 70 to 90 mil swathe of sand as we uh, extract. 50% of the sand that goes into concrete in Auckland comes out of the Parkery Mangawai embayment. And so if we can do that sustainably with a, a dredger, which is actually, there is no other one like it in New Zealand or in New Zealand registered, um, but we feel that we've got the best opportunity to keep doing this going forward into the future. It's worth investing in that sort of equipment for that. It's certainly not a 10 minute game, not a 10 year game. You know, we're talking 20, 30 years. This vessel will still uh, be, be working for us. Below deck, McCallum Brothers have invested heavily in Tier 4 low emission engines to drive the vessel and an electric pump motor to minimise the risk of oil and other discharges finding their way into the ocean. An electric pump also lessens underwater noise that might disturb marine mammals and other sea life. Sediment from processing of the sand slurry is also dealt with using leading Dutch dredge design. Oversized material and sediment laden water are directed to moon pools where they re-enter the ocean below the vessel, thereby minimising turbidity plumes at the surface. Research by McCallum Brothers using its partners, Niwa, Cawthron Institute and Jacobs, have consistently shown that impacts on the coastal environment and on marine life, including marine mammals and birds, are not significant. The people we use have to be able to stand up in the environment court and act as the experts. We're very strong on the science. We've spent the last three years gathering information. We do a lot of drone surveying, bathymetric monitoring at the bottom, so we actually know what's happening. We've got photographic evidence and pictures of, of what we're doing on the bottom. 
say, with, with the, the seabed mapping they do with the other vessel, we can farm it. It's, we've got a rather large area here, so we just go from area to area and keep a good eye on what we're doing. Currently we're extracting about early 200,000 cubes a year, but that is only an absolute drop in the bucket compared to how much sand is actually in the Parkery Mangawai embayment. Estimates have put it you know, up to three to four billion cubic metres of sand. One of the advantages of our operation is that we do bring sand directly into the centre of town and um, then we distribute it to mainly to concrete plants from here. So the other options for concrete sand into Auckland would be either from the Waikato or from out west at Helensville. And it's something like 60 odd k's each way with trucks and trailers. And that's roughly equating to about eight to 10,000 tonnes of CO2 that they would produce if we weren't doing what we're doing now. Carbon mitigation through lessening transport hours is one thing, but the real gains come down to the makeup of the sand, which is ideal to produce concrete. Parkery sand being clean and being uniform actually means that whoever's using it to make concrete uses less cement. And the cement is the actual part or part of the equation which uses the most CO2. We're not here for short-term gains. I think that what we do is beneficial to Auckland, that we are having a minimal effect. If people have got issues, we want to have a constructive dialogue with them and work through them. Pākari sand is a regionally and nationally significant resource. We need Pākari sand to build new homes and support better infrastructure. Like any natural resource, we need to make sure it's extracted in a manner that minimises its impacts on the embayment and its wildlife.